All right, guys, so this is the uh, motor we're going to be using for the Valiant. Just an old 318. I think we explained it in the last video. Without the old pickup, but uh, I'm going to tear this thing apart and see if I can figure out what's the matter with the top end. A lot of these videos in the Valiant series are going to be just me, and then Sam's probably going to edit them. But So I'm going to get this uh, time lapse rolling and enjoy. apart uh, pop the valve covers off pop the intake off and there's really not much I can see wrong there's no flat lobes all of these all the lifters are pumped up none of them are none of them are flat at all it's got some sludge in it it has aftermarket rockers. It's got competition, it says. 7956s. I'm gonna have to look that up and see if they're oversized or not. I'm not positive, but I don't know what's the matter with this thing. We locked? Mm hmm. This is the, uh, oh, right there, the time lapse taking the top end apart on. I, I couldn't see much of anything wrong, so. We're going to put it on the, the rotisserie and tear it down. See what's the matter with it. Because I don't want to go through putting it all in that. All inside of this car and then have it be a turd. So. Make sure it's right. That's not cool. So let's see if she'll lift up. It's got a couple bolts in the intake. Hopefully it picks pretty straight. Cause <laughs> the dolly's stuck to it. Okay. We off? Enough to at least pull it out here. No, a little more just because it's, it's got to clear the oil pan. I mean, I could just grab the block too. It's got some cool stuff in it. Get my hand smashed. That's scary looking. It's free. Yeah, yeah. Today's the day reckoning for the 318. We're going to figure out what... 318's going in the valley, up there. We're either going to figure out what the frick's the matter with it. Or get it. Get it completely torn down and rebuilt. Like rebuilt. We either go I'm not, I can't paint over there yet. You're going to figure it out or we aren't. Uh, I, don't know. I, can, I can paint over here. Let's get a nice little side by side. So I don't know what you just said, but basically he's tearing this thing apart. It's getting torn apart. It's getting torn, at least down to the cam. Well, see what kind I of cam. See, yeah, I gotta see if there's any numbers on the cam to see if some, whoever owned this hat, little kid put a huge cam in it and that's why it runs like shit. Crap. <laughs> Do we? Yeah. Nice. We have a special guest. <laughs> no, we are filming, but the, yeah, it's our day. Yeah, look at my ugly nails. They Go ahead, start working. No, I don't like them. They messed them up. How do you mess up boys? <laughs> look at them. They filled them gross. Like, it's curved. They smell I, funny. I had to go file them. Well, they smell like mom's cooking. 
Yeah. Don't tell her it's less funny. You're just talking about those cookies. What do those look like? What does look like? Would you like them? She got like a mustard sparkly yellow. No, they're really thick. Look, I don't think. Shaky, I'm sorry. Hey folks. Oh, we're better than hearing breathing. We're getting filmed on an iPhone one and a half right now. Oh, it's it was fun. <laughs> it's Sam. <laughs> Yo, what are you saying? <laughs> Alright, you got it. You getting sure? down off. Why do you have to park your close to mine? Weird. Watch the videos, bro. Go back and check out who was here first. Manifolds off. Oh, this is like the first update since we start. You start pulling them apart. Oh, anything you find? That just rolled underneath. All right, so we found an issue that could be our culprit with the rattly top end, and it's this. You guys, let us know in the comments if that's actually something that could make it loud. I don't know. Probably not. All right, let's do it. <laughs> it's okay. I like have must have like something wrong with my hands. I have like um onset like what is it called? Diabetes. Parkinson's or something <laughs> where you shake a lot. That's what I have because this video is so jiggly. Really onset baldness or something. No, that's just that's just you. That's just me. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of my stuff. I swear I'm not filming. So he's doing that. My stuff. All I've accomplished so far is Get that covered in some uh, sealant, and I'm gonna see if I can get this. Get this. On, on number two, Sam is 21 years of age. Yep. He's, he's on gasket number two, everyone. I can't remember if you go. Yeah, just like that. Let's see, folks. Oh. Yay. I think that's good. I can just get this started. I don't like to This shirt's in the These do not work, dude. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I just need a wrench. Yeah, sure. Like, not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> smells funny. It smells skunky. This whole motor is like covered in black burnt oil for some reason, but that's not bad. I mean, there's no copper. Showing. I would say that's fine, but. I don't want to take them all off, though. I don't think the bottom end is the issue. What do you think? I'd say check one main and then call it good, rebuild it. See how the mains are looking. Pop it loose. Wish I had a. There it goes. Beautiful. Light brand now. How's the crank feel? It's a little gougy, but nothing terrible. 
Nothing like we, we didn't send down the line, you know? Nothing we wouldn't send down the line. No, I meant like we send it <laughs> for that. Oh. No. No, that's all fine. That all checks out. I'm, I'm not touching the bottom end. I think it's fine. Bold move, man. Bold move. Our issue is the can. <laughs> It's got, I think I already showed you guys the, in the video before that you haven't seen yet, but see right here, it says 7956 competition cam, and then it's a, a four or 745, and stock for a 318 is 7500, so they're 50 thousandths undersized. I think this 80 is the thickness, I'm not sure. But they're oil through too, like they're magnum push rods. Or they're, they're capable of being magnum push rods. I don't know. And what's the cam? Is, uh, uh, sealed power. Sealed power. Um, I can't check right now since it's on my phone. I have the camera here. Silent something? Silent sleeper or something? I don't know what it was called. Yeah, it had a name. It doesn't have any crazy lift that's like a red flag. It doesn't look bad either. It's a, uh, it's a sealed power, one oh one nine R. Cam, that's in it. So if Lift, you know about those, lifters were all good. Everything looks fine. Cam seemed fine. Doesn't look bad at all. Uh, so I really don't, I really don't know. All the lifters, they're all these push or God, rockers feel fine. None of them feel like they're hot spotted. Except, if you can look, see how this is all scummy, this whole side, and this side isn't? So it almost makes me think that one side might not have been getting oil. But that doesn't make any sense. I have a feeling it might have been an oil, oil starvation issue. Some kind, we just got a final got burned up and was clacking. Beggars. What's next for it? Beggars can't be choosers. Free motor. Can't whine. What's what next? next? <sighs> I don't know what's next. All good? I think the bottom's I think the bottom's fine though. The bags look new. And it ran, so it's not like they heard it run, they said it was top end. Rattling. So I think I gotta figure out what, why those are short. It's impossible to tell if they took any anything off the deck. How would I ever figure that out? To see why they had shorter ones. I'm just gonna have to get a um, uh, push rod measuring tool because we're gonna have to get new push rods for that. And I might as well measure what these would take. See if those are what they want. You can do it with the lifters pumped up. You just go to zero lash, and then you add the lifter preload to the equation. So you can see if they check out with without compressing them like this. Like with these ones that aren't pumped up, you can put how much preload you want in the mm -hmm. with the checker. But all right, well, yeah. I guess hopefully next time I. Talk to that camera. I got some better news. But I don't know what's matter with it still, and it's all apart. So, yeah, be alright. Go it wrong. <sighs> all right, folks. See you in a little bit.